What's up guys, Eric from B-Side. Today we have here a 2022 Lexus GX460 and we're going to be installing our shift power throttle response controller. It's going to give full control of the car's throttle from eco mode all the way to race mode. There's um, over 360 ways you could set it up and it also has the ability to lock the throttle for additional security and also put it into valet mode if you don't want your valet guy punching in on your throttle or your acceleration while they're parking your vehicle. So very very easy install it'll take us like maybe five minutes to do so let me show you guys how to do it and then let's get started all right so the first step you want to do is after you turn off your car you're outside your vehicle just go ahead and just lock your car all right and then go ahead and unlock it so this will make sure there's no circuit or any signals going through your acceleration pedal it'll basically put your car to sleep um, even though we unlocked it and the signal through your acceleration pedal should not be there um, you can also just keep your car unlocked open the door and then put the key far away so it doesn't detect it for about like five ten minutes but faster way is just just lock and unlock all right so once we do that let's go ahead and head over to the vehicle go ahead and go inside the car and look down at your foot well so looking at the um, acceleration pedal if you stick your hand up here there is a connector connected to your acceleration pedal okay the clip is going to be towards the inside so what you're going to do is take your hand you're going to go in and you're going to press down at the release on this side and then while pressing you're going to pull straight up okay you might have a difficult time on pulling it out if you are tempted to pull this way okay but you do not pull on the angle you have to pull straight up and it'll come out pretty easily all right there it is all right, just like that. All right, once that is unplugged, we're going to unbox this. And inside here is a cool sticker. To put it on your car if you wish. We also have two manual, one English, one Spanish. And in your English manual, if you open up to the front page, you'll have a sticker here that shows you the password to pair your device to your phone. So go ahead and keep this handy. And then once you look inside the box, you also notice that we have the shift power button here. And we also have the, the harness and the module. And also two zip ties if you need them. So if you look at the harness and module, you'll notice that there's two connectors here that looks like it'll match the acceleration pedal. So I'm gonna go down there and then the plug that I pulled out, I'm going to plug that into here. And this will plug into the factory acceleration pedal connector. So I'm going to try this with one hand. All right, so here it is. And this will connect into there. Of course, this will be much easier using two hands. Okay, for that click. The other side. All right, a little difficult to see. It's gonna go in this way, okay? So the release tab is on the inside. All right, there it is, there's that click. Okay, and next we will connect our shift power button. All right, okay, it's a shift power button. Click that into place. All right, and next, all we have to do is route this button to your desired location for this vehicle. And for this customer, we're going to mount this inside here. Okay, right around there, all right. I'll show you where it is once we do it. In order to get there, we're gonna remove this side panel piece. So we'll open it up and we'll route it there and rest of the assembly, we're going to go ahead and tuck it towards the center console and then um, above the under tray, under the steering wheel. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this panel. Just put your thumb over here and then just pull it out this way. Okay, and just work your way to the front. Okay, 
if you wish you can also use a panel removal tool if you have a difficult time removing this and once that is removed we're going to take this and we're going to stick it around here this is where we want it so I'm going to just leave this around here for now okay. and while I leave this I'm going to go ahead and tuck these cables Okay, there's a little panel piece here that I can also remove. Like this, just being held by clips. Alright. Okay, I'll tuck the wire here. There's also a lot of space back down here that you could just, just tuck all this. Um, when you come down here though, when you come down to this area, your, um, one, there's one of the climate control lines, okay? Or this is your, your one of your radiator or one of the heating element, which could get pretty hot. You'll notice when you go down here and you touch it. So try to mount this away from that as much as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and put this, place this panel back in place. So we want this mount right here. Minimizing the cable from showing. It's gonna be like right there. Before we commit to using the double side tape, place this panel back. Okay, when you put this panel back, make sure you line up the holes. Okay, like that. Here it is. And make sure the door opens and closes without any inter interference. All right. Okay, so once you have it connected like this, go ahead and turn on your car. So you can put it to ignition. You don't have to necessarily turn on the car. Just, just push the start button twice. Okay, once you press that, you'll notice that this is white color. That is the default. And the first thing we want to do is we want to connect to our phone. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and download the Shift Power application. And after you download it, go ahead and open it. After you open the app, first thing you want to do is press on this car button here. And it should pop up like so. Press connect. It'll say connect it. And you gotta go back to your instruction manual which is going to tell you your password and for any reason if you end up losing your instruction manual the password is also written on the module itself and for go ahead and pair it and then you gonna go ahead and select your vehicle all right so we haven't put 2022 in here yet but 2021 will do okay and then now it is connected so if you look at both of these since they, they, they are synced, if we change the mode, it will change. So right now it's dynamic showing green, sport will show yellow, super sport is orange, and race is red. And this, we, and you may also be able to change this at 1% increment. So this is 100 adjustments right here. From 1% all the way to 100. And you can make the adjustment even while you are driving. It won't throw out any check engine lights or any of that. And if you want to fine tune it a little further, you can go to your settings here and then go to mode settings. And there's three different acceleration curve that you could pick from. Um, the default is linear, and then you also have the dynamic exponential. The linear is the most aggressive, exponential is the least ex aggressive, um, and then dynamic is somewhere in between. And then on here, you can also change your presets okay, to whatever you like, say that you're driving, and then you realize that you like something in between then go ahead and change your presets and as you notice here the presets have changed from our default so I'm going to go back and then go ahead and change it back to reset reset this to default alright and then let me show you some other cool features we also have the valet mode so when you are valeting your vehicle you don't want the guy punching acceleration go ahead and change it to that or we can also lock the acceleration pedal so if a thief manages to turn on your vehicle they will not be able to drive off with it. 
Okay, and then we also have the new eco mode. Um, depending on how aggressive you want, you could adjust it from zero to 20% of how much eco you want to be. You can also set it in settings under safety, um, unlocking by presence. So say that you lock your throttle for security and when you go to your car, turn it on, the device will detect that your phone is near and it will unlock by itself. So you don't have to manually unlock it. Okay, another another function is um, not only if you if you don't want to use the app, that's fine. You could just press the button here. It'll jump through different, it'll cycle through different modes. And whatever mode you leave it on, it will remember that setting even after you turn off your car and turn it back on. The setting will not reset every time. It'll remember. All right, so for this customer, he wants it as aggressive as possible. So go ahead and change it. All right, we'll keep it linear and also race. All right, guys, well, that concludes our installation of our shift power throttle response controller. If you have any questions, please let us know. We have tons and tons of application for this. Most likely, we have your vehicle covered. Uh, it doesn't have to be Toyota or Lexus. If you like to inquire, please shoot us an email at info at bsonicusa.com. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and also like our video. Thank you.